Hello again, it's Sports Betting Well, Wednesday, May 31st, 2017. Well, today's the end of May. It's been a very, very profitable month for everybody. I'm very pleased to see that people have done real well with their sports investments with the, with the whale picks. And I can tell you that typically it just gets better from here, guys and girls. It's from, from now on, um, June becomes easier than May, July is easier than June, and August is easier than July. So you want to continue to stick with it. You see there's a lot of, a lot of action. You don't want to miss out on the ones because you never know which ones are going to hit. And I do have a, a method to uh, why I group them the way I do. And you can't assume that just take one of them and not take the others. And again, this morning, we came out of the gate with a four out of four. So what's beautiful about the round robin system, even if the other two round robins don't hit at all today, everyone's had a great day. It's a n nice way to start it out. I certainly hope everyone's happy with it. So as of uh, right now, we're over 600 units to close out May pending the last couple of round robins. It was, uh, <laughs> so um, the, the champ system wanted me to tell a little story about what happened in the bottom of the ninth with the Arizona and Pittsburgh game. I was with some friends at lunch and we were all sweating it in and I'd hoped that Arizona was gonna score more because they had men on base all the time they just wouldn't get any key hits. Uh, and I was concerned that they were going to take uh, Rodney as their closer into the bottom of the ninth. Yeah, sure enough. So I told, uh, I told some friends at lunch, I said, watch this. I said, Rodney's going to load up the bases with nobody out. That's going to be our starting point. And then we have to sweat the game from there. Yep. <laughs> it took like no time. Walk, walk, boom. Bases loaded, nobody out. Yeah, so um, fortunately, Rodney got lucky to get out of the inning with only one run and the game was tied and went to extra innings and Arizona won in extra innings. I think uh, it's time for Rodney to uh, call it a career because he's the most erratic closer, him and Rodriguez for Detroit. I mean, they're just, boy, they're, they're uh, I don't care what lead you have when they come out, it's going to be a heart attack. So hopefully, a lot of you um, were able to benefit from that round robin this morning. It was the uh, Houston Astros and over. I think the score was, last I looked, it was final like 15 to 5 or something. And then we had the uh, Miami uh, Marlins, and they, they won big, I think, by seven or eight runs or whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't ever close. So the only game that was uh, sweatable was the uh, Arizona against Pittsburgh. And, you know, it was about a pick em game. And, we were winning the whole game, uh, never losing, and won at the end. So hopefully a lot of you were able to get that in, and it paid back about uh, 8 to 1, depending on what odds you got. So my 4,000 paid back around 30 to 32. I'll have to look at the exact amount, and it will get posted on the Whale Tracker. You can see every single play since uh, May 1st on the whaletracker.com, whaletracker.com. It is the most honest and transparent system I've ever seen. I really believe that the Champ Group and the Whale Sports were revolutionizing how things should be done in the sports industry. I, I believe that our honesty, our transparency, uh, our willingness to take the lumps and not hide the fact when we have bad days or bad weeks. Um, the system wins in the long run. I've been saying that all along. Those of you who experienced the, uh, the choppiness back in February and March, uh, when you know, it seemed like almost every other game, the uh, players were pulling the starters right before game time. It was nuts. I don't know if you saw in the news, Mark Cuban, and the Dallas Mavericks admitted that they were tanking games so that they would have a better position on the NBA lottery. You can Google that and see. So is it, is it really fair to judge any handicapper when, when you're basing assumptions logically on who's going to play and they don't play? The San Antonio Spurs, I remember many times, pulled their key starters right before game time. No way to get out, nothing you could do about it. Um, thankfully, that's not happening in baseball, and I can assure you, next March, if I see any of that 
type of shenanigans going on will just pull out from, from taking any teams that are involved in any games where the coaches are doing that type of stuff. And again, um, I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen uh, such a choppy period. Now, listening to Mark Cuban and some of the other managers and coaches and owners to understand that they were all fighting for, for uh, the lottery position can help you understand why what's never happened to me before happened during that period of time. And uh, again, we'll watch out for it next year. But baseball season, it's just beautiful. Football season, it's going to be beautiful. The half time's going to be beautiful. There's a lot of systems that are in play. And really cool, too, you've got two groups now. You've got the champ, champ group and you have the whale sports group combining forces and coming together. I think that the, by far the two most honest, successful, um, and transparent groups uh, ever. That's why I joined with them, and I'm very excited to be able to work with them going forward. We're only interested in, in you winning. We're interested in seeing that you can make a nice extra income off sports and try to keep calm during the roller coaster ride but you'll see at the end we win and right now you're seeing how that works may's turn may's turn out to be a good month i expect june to be better in july and august etc um, all the way into the football season and then i'm going to share some stuff with you in football that you've never seen before because if you look at the tickets that i won back um, before where where the mirage was doing a big campaign on it i even um, won a ton of money in the preseason and uh, there's there's a lot of angles and stick with us you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of fun and you're gonna make a lot of money and it's all all good it's all guaranteed it's all honest it's all transparent and I can tell you from the heart we care about each and every one of you and we love to hear when you're winning we love to hear how it's impacting your life it's so much fun for us and so keep keep the emails coming and Twitter posts and, and text messages and just let us know so we can share it and let other people know that this system is for real and everything we're doing is for real. One of the things that I want to talk to you about, why, why this all makes sense for me now for the first time ever in my sports handicapping career, when uh, when we went to take the round robins today at one of the one of the places, uh, we already experienced getting cut back. You know, for some of you that don't know my past, I, I used to be a casino analyst, and I'm uh, pretty much a, a mathematician like the uh, Champ Group. They're 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 the same way. So we look at things very logically. Well, guess what? So does the sports book too. The reason that this system why I'm excited about being able to use my talents and my mathematical skills and 25 to 30 years of pattern recognition and understanding how teams react in certain circumstances, et cetera. It's kind of fun. And the thing, though, is like today, I was uh, cut back at the place that I uh, normally go to, and they're, um, they're not too interested in the plays anymore because if you look at, you look at from... Uh, April 21st, which is when I consider that the baseball season started to have enough history to be able to recognize patterns of what the teams are doing this year. Any of you been following, you know this year is a lot different than last year. Uh, today I went against the Cubs again, and the, um, the, Cubs, the Cubs scored one run. You wouldn't have seen that out of the team last year. Last year they came out of the gate on fire and were scoring a ton of runs. This, this year they go into L.A., they get swept, they go into San Diego, and and they and they lose again and again and again and they're not scoring so if you've got to see enough history to see that form so take April 21st to now I've probably averaged three round robins a day I would guess so that would be uh, somewhere around uh, 40 40 uh, days 120 round robins the odds of hitting a round robin if they're all minus 110s, when you group them by four, threes and a four like we are, is 16 to one. If there's not skill involved, you're going to get crushed. Normally, the books love people betting parlays because they're just too hard to hit. But since April 21st to now, 40 days, 120 or more round robins, 
baseball, um, basketball parlays as well. We're up 600 units in May. We're up 300 and something units in April. Altogether, that's over 900 units. Remember what a unit is. It's the base bet amount that you have for that day. So if you're betting $100, you're up, uh, if your base bet is $100, you're up $90,000. If your, bet, your base bet is $10, you're up $9,000 during this period of time. Anybody who studies statistics will tell you that, you know, you can toss a coin and you can, and you can get uh, nine heads and one tail, toss it 10 times. You start tossing it 100 times, 200 times, it evens out. That's how, that's how statistics work. It is impossible for someone to randomly hit this many round robins in over this amount of uh, round robins. 120 or more, it could have been 130, 140 round robins, and to be up well over 900 base units. Um, and I'm not a bragger. You probably listened to my videos before. You know that, that I'm just kind of fact-based and matter-of-fact. This isn't even a good run for me. I haven't been racking the board. I haven't racked the board three days in a row. I haven't done any of the things that, that I typically do in baseball season yet. And you're all still up 900 units. Imagine when I rack the board day after day after day. And it is coming. It gets easier for me. The pattern recognition gets easier. And I'm excited to tell you that you're going to see some things that you've never seen before in, in sports. I think a lot of you are realizing that. It's going to be so much fun. You can take a small amount of money and win a lot of money. And, you know, people around me are taking small amounts and winning large amounts. Been doing it for a long time. I want to see the same thing for you. With the fact that I've been cut back so severely, given the opportunity to share this knowledge for all of you, for you to benefit from it, and for maybe thousands of people to be benefiting around the world, it's a lot of fun to me. I like helping people. It's part of my nature. And, and this is a way for me to be able to share the benefits and the talent and the experience that I have with you. Um, now, you know, it's all paid, it's not free anymore, but the, the amount we're asking for, it's guaranteed, it's such a small amount compared to what, what you should win on the system or what you would have won in, in, in May or the, from April 21st on. It's, um, I, I, hope you're, I hope you take advantage of it. And it's easy to sign up, and again, it's, it's all guaranteed. So, today, again, as I said, I was able to take uh, 4,000 in tickets and hit it over over thirty thousand dollars in just one round robin. I mean twenty six, twenty eight thousand dollars in profit. You've seen me hit thirty, forty thousand dollars in profit. Back in the old days it was hundreds of thousands of millions in profit. Now, it's more money than some people make in a in a year of work and it's off one ticket. Now, so I'd like to see everyone start winning thousands and tens of thousands. And if you're a if you're a v, a VIP player reach out to the champ group and we've got some special mentoring programs where I can basically uh, walk you through how I how I win a lot of money if you have the ability to do that and you can get get that kind of action in um, let me show you how you can win millions if I had the ability to do the uh, plays that I did back in the 90s or when Pinnacle was available to us in the United States you'd see me you'd see me win a million in a week and I'm, I've proven it to you before, and, and I'm, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. And you can see these numbers, how they multiply so quick. So tomorrow, I'll be spreading around the action as much as I can. But the sports books talk to each other, and it's just a matter of time that I'm going to get cut off on these round robins. But you all can benefit because you're not a uh, sports betting whale, and I'm keeping myself anonymous. and. So nobody knows that um, you're out there sharing in this, in this uh, experience and knowledge and, and opportunities to win. Okay, so today, as I talked about, we had the first round robin in the morning was Arizona, Miami, Houston, and over. 
Miami was ridiculously easy. Uh, Houston and over were ridiculously easy. And Arizona was, thanks to our dear friend, the closer, Rodney, made it interesting for us. But we still won. Second group was uh, Padres run line. Again, this is about the fifth time in a row that I've taken plus one and a half and didn't need it. Uh, the Padres were plus, I think, $1.70 on the money line, and I figured they would win. But, again, because of my conservative approach for you all, even though I myself would lean towards taking the plus 170, I, um, I just want to show some more consistency, especially since we're taking round robins and threes and four. So we were able to take a plus one and a half, which is a little bit of an insurance net for us, and the odds were still good at plus one and a half. Uh, interesting, I found out that someone bet $430,000 on the Cubs today. $430,000. Wow. That's someone that doesn't understand trends. They don't understand when hitters get into slumps that it's tough to break out. What you want to do in this situation is you want to wait till there's a breakout. One, two, three games breakout. Then you can start riding them. But in, in sports, the trend is your friend, as like one of my buddies likes to say. So you're just following, you're following the trend and you're, and you're seeing what, what's happening. Because really what you're doing, maybe the Cubs are the best team like they were last year. Maybe they're going to be the best team this year. But are they the best team right now? No. Can they even beat the Padres? No. So what I care about is what's happening today. I want you guys to win money today. And so the uh, Padres were the play, the guy that bet the 430000 on the Cubs. Um, hopefully he has tens of millions of dollars and it didn't hurt him so bad. But that was not a smart move in my humble opinion. So the uh, second round robin was Padres run line, the over on St. Louis, the Indians, and the over on the Yankees. Then the fourth one, which was limited because it has a really big payout, hopefully you guys got it and hopefully it wins, was Tampa Bay, over on Tampa Bay, Rockies and Atlanta. So you've got uh, you've got some nice underdogs in this one. And I feel pretty good that, that uh, this ticket might hit and show you uh, a really big payout on, on the amounts that you got. I was limited on it, but we had recommended, I was confident enough that you do three units each on this one. That would be a very fun one if that one hits. That's Tampa Bay, over on Tampa Bay, Rockies and Atlanta. Okay, so... Thank you again for spending some time with us at the Whale Picks and the Champ System. And we uh, appreciate all of your very favorable comments and, and hope that you're enjoying this and you see our sincerity. Because it's important that everyone knows that we truly do care and we're, we're not in it to, to, to do anything that's not above board, transparent, or ethical. Thank you. I'll see you again soon on the YouTube channel.